Welcome friends. Today in this video we are discussing what is pH and pOH. pH designates hydrogen ion activity of a solution. So pH is the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion activity. Similarly pOH is also a negative logarithm of the hydroxyl ion activity. So it can be also represented as, represented as a log inverse concentration of hydrogen ions or log inverse concentration of hydroxyl ions. So based on the earlier equation, we can calculate what is the pH and the pOH of 0 0.01 molar solution of hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is a strong inorganic acid. It is 100% ionizable. So it immediately dissociates into 0 0.01 molar hydrogen ion and 0 0.01 molar chloride ions. Because it is a strong acid, we will neglect the hydrogen ion contributed by the ionization of water. So pH is equal to negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. So which is equal to uh, negative logarithm of 10 to the power minus 2. So the pH is calculated as 2. Uh, we know the dissociation constant of uh, water which is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 14. So if we substitute the value of hydrogen ion uh, concentration into this equation we can calculate the hydroxyl ion concentration as 1 into 10 to the power minus 12. So pOH is equal to negative logarithm of hydroxyl ion concentration. So it is equal to 12. So the pOH of 0 0.01 molar HCl is 12. So this is with respect to strong uh, uh, inorganic acid and higher concentration. The same uh, strong inorganic uh, uh, acid uh, if you put it uh, as a low concentration, suppose if the concentration of HCl is uh, 10 to the power minus 7 molar, then for pH calculation, you have to consider the uh, hydrogen ion contributed by the ionization of water also. So here pH is equal to negative logarithm of uh, hydrogen ion concentration. So uh, hydrogen ion concentration in which is contributed by water and also by the HCl. So which is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 from water and 10 to the power minus 7 from HCl. So here the pH is calculated as 6.699. So please subscribe my channel, share my channel, like my channel and also press the bell icon to receive uh, new notifications. And also put your comments in the uh, comment box so that uh, we can answer your doubts and uh, you can clarify your uh, doubts. So from the pH, we can also calculate the concentration based on the hydrogen ion concentration. So what is the concentration of HCl in a solution that is a pH of 4.1. So you know pH is equal to negative logarithm of uh, hydrogen ion concentration. So hydrogen concentration is equal to 10 to the power minus pH. Uh, which is equal to 10 to the power minus 4.1. Alternatively, we can represent it as uh, 10 to the power minus 5 into 10 to the power uh, 0.9. So, antilog of 0.9 is equal to 7.94. So, the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 7.94 into 10 to the power minus 5 molar. So, hydro uh, the co concentration of HCl in a solution that is equal to 7.94 into 10 to the power minus 5 molar assuming it's a hundred percent ionized from the hydrogen ion uh, concentration and uh, hydroxyl ion concentration uh, we uh, we can uh, again find out from the uh, ph and also based on that we can also calculate the number of ions so here if the ph if the ph is 4 the hydrogen ion concentration is uh, 10 to the power minus 4 so for uh, uh, one molar solution, the number of molecules present will be the Avogadro number that is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 ions per liter. So here the concentration is 10 to the power minus 4. So if we multiply the molarity with the Avogadro number, we will calculate uh, the number of hydrogen ion present in the per liter is equal to 6.023 into 10 to the power 19 ions per liter. So here if it is for 2 ml, you can divide it by 4 so that it will be 1.506 into 
10 to the power 19 ions the 250 ml so ph plus poh is equal to 14 so poh is equal to 14 minus 4 is equal to 10 so the hydroxyl ion concentration is 10 to the power minus 10 molar so here again if you multiply the molarity with the avogadro number we can calculate the number of hydroxyl ion present in 250 mls 1.506 into 10 to the power 13 ions per 250 ml i think you enjoyed the video and also understood how to calculate ph and poh and from that how to calculate the concentration and also under what situation you have to consider the ionization of water also for pH calculation. Thank you very much for listening the video. Thank you.